Got it. Now watch this. The Vulcan stuck grip not gonna work, and he's gonna chuck it in my hand again. Look at a lateral line. Right there. Look at that. It's gonna be real entertaining here when I fall in this thing. I'll laugh. I know you will. I wonder if they saw my meter. I was naked. Oh God, that back. I'm trying to get to the house, see if I can edit some content. I got some good GoPro footage and I got some, uh, little, like I said, peacock bass and tarp in action. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm your host, Brian the CEO, also known for Monster Mike Fishing. Today, I got a really fun episode for you guys. Um, we're, we're going to start two days before my knee surgery. And I, I had knee surgery yesterday for my meniscus so i finally got that done for those of you guys new to the channel i do a lot of fishing content outdoors travel um i'm just revamping the channel again now and i'm taking you through some of my personal life as well because i, I could be an interesting guy at least i think i'm interesting in today's video i go on a bike ride with my wife and her friend and i decide to fish along the way i also trying to get a tan because of the this farmer's tan that I get for wearing short sleeve shirts in the sun, but that's that's a whole nother story. So we go fishing and I'm, I'm targeting peacock bass, which I'm very successful at, sort of successful. Actually, I kind of suck on that particular day. And then I link up with my buddy, Sean, who I've been talking about fishing with forever now. And this is our, actually our very first time going fishing together. And we're going in the back country. Oh, you always have to take a shit when I'm freaking filming. Get out of here, such a, hey, get inside the litter box. Don't outside the box. Thank you. Asshole. Oh man, I'm trying to move around. My cat's pooping, pooping when I'm trying to film. Oh, what a way to start the day. Yee. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, my buddy Sean and I, we've been talking about fishing forever. We went into some backcountry areas, down some canals, me doing everything my doctor said not to do. Hiking, climbing on rocks, jumping fences, the whole nine. Um, but at this point, the surgery is the very next day. And then yesterday, when I was coming out of this, the uh, anesthesia, apparently I thought it was a good idea to pick up my phone and actually start filming for the show. Whatever they gave me, I felt great. Um, and I guess I just felt like filming. So uh, guys, without any further ado, if you want to support the channel, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the upcoming episodes. I'm going to finish editing and then I've got physical therapy that I actually have to head to. But while I'm doing that, you guys enjoy that. You guys enjoy the episode, please. All right, have fun. I'll see you guys at the end. Two days until surgery and I decided to go on a bike ride. So while yes, my knee is jacked up, I am able to ride a bike because I'm not putting side to side pressure and I'm not pivoting on it. And I'm not going fast. And I got it in low gear too, so makes it a little easier. But I'm just always trying to find a fish. Always trying to find some content. I saw like three or four fish when I first pulled up, but to be honest with you, my very first cast, the knot that I tied for my leader, just literally slipped out. So I have a lure in the water here somewhere. Uh, and that was all on me, so. Uh, I can blame my wife. Come on. Oh, stay out of the mangroves. Stay out of the mangroves. Get him? Yep. Mm. 
All right. Nice little peacock bass on the swim bait. As the uh, Cubans down here would say, pica. It's a pica. Because they can't pronounce the cock. Go home, buddy. That was a really pretty one. What? You didn't even let Paulina see it. Oh. So rude. Let's go investigate. So I'm walking along the ledge and I look down and boom. Some goat heads and some other stuff. So that's uh, to the Santos. That's your people. Santeria. Santeria. I don't practice Santeria. But yeah, you can find these things along every body of water or train track in South Florida. You wanted to see a peacock, right? Ooh. Oh no. Well, that was a peacock. I saw it. Yeah. Thanks. Right, I'm my line. I'm getting burnt. Yeah, me too. Broke my line. Shouldn't have tried to flip them. Okay, bye. So I've got my brown friend uh, throwing the cast net and getting the water for me. <laughs> I'll introduce you guys in a minute. His nickname is Crocodile Bait. <laughs> you know what the rule is about nicknames, right? You gotta do, you can do something way stupid or way cool to, to earn it. <laughs> what that nickname is. Anything? Was that a little Molly? A little Molly. Oh, nice. A little Molly in there. I'm trying to get some of the other bigger ones. Yeah, not the Molly that you're thinking of. These are fish. No. Yes. Oh, you get that down the road. Yeah. <laughs> As we get older, we get a lot more cautious. And like, you think about it, but like you said, you got that little governor in the ass. Like, yeah, no, let me pucker up a little bit. Think about this. No, I used to jump off the roof with a garbage bag, bro. I landed hard as hell, but I thought I was doing something. Let's see? And here's me being a dumbass. Dropping the phone. phone. That's the one difference about being older. Like... When you were a kid, you were like, oh, it's my phone. Where'd you leave it? I don't know. Uh -oh. You know? Now we, got, we track back. <laughs> you gotta track back. Because what'll happen is, when you're older, you kind of accidentally leave it in the strip club. Yeah. On little table in the champagne room. Evidence. Evidence, yeah. So we didn't realize it was such a far hike. Um, we were literally, it was literally like a 30 minute hike, which may not seem far for some people, but when it's 90 something degrees, no wind, straight, straight humidity, and He's got a bad back. I've got a knee that needs a knee that needs surgery. It was a struggle. Let's just put it that way. It was a struggle. But we did catch some fish. We we did get the tarpon we went there for. Well, some of the tarpon we went there for. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. So enjoy this next segment. It's brought to you by Vector Hooks. Right now it's getting a 360 degree. When shot. did you know you wanted to do this? Uh on accident. Yeah, yeah I, I was working with uh, rappers yeah. back in the day, and I was got someone to do a music video. Long story short, they dipped with the money and part of a video, so I nice. tracked them down, and I finished the video myself. What? And I said, this is kind of fun, so I started practicing and doing stuff. And what were you doing before this? I was a property manager, bro. <laughs> Cam licensed property manager, running HOAs and stuff. What? horrible job horrible job so what do you say it's about six inches to eight inches of murk I would think so because every time we watch a roll it comes clear, clear for it. it it might even only be a couple inches yeah. <laughs> a couple inches that's what she said Going for a little more of a lighter color with some gold flake in it. See if we can get ourselves a fish.
This lure's ribbed, so it has different sound in the water than the other one. The other one, the tail just rippled. This one is completely ribbed, so it has different sound. See if this one works. I'm gonna try to get my hand on them Florida Boy Soft Plastics too. Because they have a different type of ridge along the tail. I want to give those a try. I'm pretty sure I can get some smoking carpet on them. I'm going to go grab us some bait. Okay. I'll be right back. Let's see if this pike killifish can get hit. It feels like their mouths would be harder and bonier. Like it, it, it feels like that, that hook should stay in there pretty good. When in doubt, shove it in his ass. <laughs> With a long leader. There we go. Got her. Yep. Oh, mother spit it. So a huge tarpon just crushed that pike killifish and it swam straight at me and I wasn't able to get a good hook set. It just swirled right there too. I can't believe it. I saw the line just running, running, running. I, I, I heard it and I, I watched that one big, this bronze big swirl right over there, just right over, it just like popped yeah. right over there. Ah. So I was <laughs> grabbing. That's, that's the way it works, man. Fishing, I guess, you know? Yeah, when I got hit, man. But that's a part of it. That is a part of it. I guess that makes it fun, you know? Yeah. We are literally out here in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere. So don't even try and find it. There's one or two hardcore kids that probably go, I know where that is. It's out there in the middle of nowhere. How'd they get back there? Know how. Yeah, pretty much. Ah. I like walking. Ah, in a minute or two, I'm going to get up. I'm telling myself that. I'm going to get up and I'm going to throw a lure around. But Yeah. That's what I'm saying to myself. But this this sitting in the shade with my feet in the water is kind of, a, kind of a relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a nice deal. Yeah, I'll tell you what, fighting a 50 pounder in here with, with this backdrop and this small little whatever, it's 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 pretty. You know, yeah. it's, it's a nice fight. And for whatever reason, these tarpon are, are dude, they're acrobats, man. They 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 sky all the time, they jump pretty good. That's what we want. Go get them, buddy. Unless you took it off and stole them. There's something underneath. Oh, oh it's on. You're on. You are on my dude. Set that. Come out. I got him. Get him. Oh, yeah, baby, baby tarpon. Got a baby tarpon. You saw him rolling too. <laughs> That's so cool. Look how dark he is. Nice. <laughs> nice. Here. Now I get to take the camera off right here. <laughs> stop. I went to the slider rod and the fight's going to be a lot more fun now. Oh, yeah. This is my first time fishing <laughs> with Sean over here. How's it going? We uh been talking about this for fuck almost two years. <laughs> we have Seems almost like been... we like Look we've at... been talking about it for a while. Look how dark he is on the top. How pretty is that little tarpon? It looks exactly like a mirror lure. <laughs> it does look like a mirror lure. <laughs> you know what's funny is when they're that small, sometimes the big ones come up underneath them. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, first fish of the day. First fish of the day. Targeted species acquire. But look at that thing, man. That's cool. See, that muck isn't that deep. Yeah, so we, we're dealing with this, what, what would you call it? The top? construction, um, the, 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 the muck coming up from where they were digging at. Yeah, so you, it looks like you can't see into the water. Water looks filthy. But I'd say two to three inches to about eight inches below, it's clear. Well, coffee clear. It's all that tannic stuff that comes out of the Everglades. Super pretty. Um, I'm going to let you hold this and I'm going to go down there and get him okay. and try not to fall in the water. Gotcha. I'm going to grow a brain and leave my phone up here. It's going to be real entertaining here when I fall in this thing. I'll laugh. I know you will. <laughs> I know you'll laugh. Yeah, I know you'll laugh. To you. so, Damn, almost like a uh, professional bass fisherman right here. Yeah, look at him. All right, buddy. Pretty little fish, man. They're popping over there too. Look at that. Maybe it's that time. Maybe it is that time. No, they'll hit anything. Pretty little fish, man. Big or small, we love them all. Look how big that eye is in here. 
Perfect Jeez. little fish. Perfect predators. Okay, come here, buddy. Let's get you out of there. Right, now see, I'm Oops, a little she's... jealous. Well, then there's, there's still two more of those little fish left. You should probably go grab one. Thanks for the so fun. Along the way, you saw he was throwing the cast net. <laughs> Pretty little guy. And now, but don't think there's not like 80 pounders in here. Okay. Are we ready to turn them loose? You can turn them loose unless you want a picture. No, that's cool. And he's off. And he's off. Round two. Good stuff, bro. Thanks, wow. man. I'll tell you what, that little rod ain't going to hang with it if it's that uh, an 80-pounder rolls up. <laughs> you know what? That's called finesse. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're using, a little sail fin molly on a popping cork. We're just going to let it sit in the water. Probably put it about 18 inches. And uh, see if something takes the bait. Follow me, guys. And I got my brown guy over there uh, trying to catch some more. How's it, how's it going over there, brown guy? Uh, you know, nothing yet, you know, but uh, I am significantly darker than you, so that means on my South Park-like level of difficulty, it's a bit harder for me. <laughs> yeah, you're on. Something uh -huh. just popped you. Something just popped you. You yeah. still have a bait? Nope. Oh, you got, was, like, hit right away. That was quick. I turned my back, and then I get popped, but that's a good sign. <laughs> I like that because uh, <laughs> that means I might get one, get one too. All right. Shoot, if they're popping like that, I'll probably hook them to his tail or something so that because those mouths are so soft on those things. Yeah, that's true. I was hooking them through the mouth too. I just didn't want to pop them in the brain. But um, if they're hitting like that, then chances are you'll probably... uh You're right behind his spinal, like Mike Tyson. It's spinal. All right. Go right there. This time I'll just sit and wait. Hopefully he's sitting there waiting for you to feed him. Oh, there's some more rolling over here. Are they? Well, yeah. I'm going to go over there and check a top water for a second. Or, you know what? Let me change to uh, change to one of these. You got him? Yep. Nice. Oh, I lost your popping cork. It's all right. Because I just <laughs> twisted it on like a lazy ass. It's okay, man. I lost mine too. <laughs> Woohoo! You know, this would be a great spot for kids. Can you oh, imagine yeah. coming over here and having them be their, their, their first fish be like tarpon? Nice. That's so cool. This is good times right here, man. I'm glad we finally uh, got a chance to get over here and do this. To, I got a chance to actually finally hang out, man. Oh, I know it, man. I know it. Like, we got a lot of plans and ideas. Okay, let's say ideas. We got a lot of ideas. Oh, and the hook just came off. Look at that. Perfect. And I love this little cheap uh, flea market uh, rubber net. Yeah. It's so nice on the fish. Perfect. Let me come over here. <sighs> and... Uh, Grabbing my little poon right there. Look at that little freshwater tarpon. Well, I guess they're a brackish water. Yeah, same thing. But what we came here for. Yeah. Now we just need to find a bigger one. Yeah, we need one about what ten times this size. Yeah, we can do that. Probably just not on what we're catching them on though. Yeah, nah. Ready in the water. Perfect dive head. <laughs> it sounded like it. Boom boom. That's like one of those Olympic dives. Hell yeah. Cool deal. Hell yeah. Fish on over there. Dude, man, is it, I don't know what kind of rolling mark ass kind of thing this is. Dude, it's, your, it's a little snook. You got a little it's snook? A dirty water snook is what it feels oh, like. heck yeah. It is a little snook. Nice. <laughs> it's not a bad snook. It is not a bad little snook, but. But have fun with them rattles now. Yeah, I know. Have fun with these treble hooks, right? <laughs> All right, buddy. I'm going to let you go. You are not going to stick me in the hand. Apparently, he didn't get the memo. No, he did not. 
Ah, there it is. It's in your hand. Ow. It sure is. Oh, oh cool. Sorry, right, I got it out. Oh. <laughs> <That was, laughs> you were waiting for the. <laughs> yeah. Yep. God dang it. Stop it, dude. All right, you know what? Let me do the Vulcan snook grip on him. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> I don't know why I just didn't do that from Jump Street. Yeah, right? We like to make things difficult for ourselves. Yeah, I like getting, a, I like getting a, uh, a hook in my hand. Now watch this. The Vulcan snook grip not going to work, and he's going to chuck it in my hand again. We got a lateral line. Pretty nice fish. and dark on this one. There mm -hmm. we go. Nice. Nice. Pretty little fish, man. Yeah, it is. All right, so we got a few right. snook, few tar oh, one snook, two tarpon. Well, that brings us to the end of the day, but it's time for me to go home and start prepping for surgery tomorrow morning. Well, walking in for the surgery. <sighs> time for surgery. So my nurse, she's gonna have to pamper me. She's gonna give me a bell, so when I ring the bell, she'll bring me food and drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> I understand. Time to go in. One hour later. How do you feel? So if it's time. We got coffee. Lifeline. Huh? This is my lifeline right here. Mm. Missing a sock. Huh? Missing a sock. Missing a sock? No, I said you're missing a sock. Oh. First class service. Alright, so. How long did he say before I could walk? Uh, four to six weeks. Four to six weeks. So we're gonna do this in three. No, it's not the rules. It's not the rules, you gotta follow the rules. Four to six weeks. Three weeks. Well, I'm gonna have to have a massage therapist. <laughs> so how long was I in there? Not long, maybe an hour. An hour. So part of it was coming out of the anesthesia. Were you there before I was out of the anesthesia? No. So you got there after I was talking and stuff? Um, so I mean, so, I mean, you responded to me when she was giving the instructions yeah. about what to do. You looked up at me and then you put your arm around my waist very I was loving. Yeah. Maybe I just wanted to touch your butt. Well, surgery's done. Now, physical therapy time. This is the part I was actually like nervous about is the physical therapy because they're gonna be bending it and stuff, and that's gonna suck. But I promise I'm gonna get out there and do some. Uh, some videos for you guys. I got some cool. I got some cool content from yesterday and the day before. Um, right now, I don't even remember what it is, but I'm sure it was kind of cool. I think I. Uh, oh, I went tarpon fishing and missed a huge tarpon. Like I'm talking about, like in a little canal, like a hundred pound tarpon, maybe eighty. Talk about a drink. And then, no, it's not a dream. I really saw them and caught tarpon. That was with my buddy Sean. So, so it was good times. Um, and then the day before, I did something the day before. Bike riding? Oh, yeah, yeah. We went, I went on a bike ride and uh, got a pickup ass. So, uh, should be fun. When I get in the studio, I can probably think straighter and uh, do a little more in-depth conversation but uh yeah so knee surgery's done now it's just time to rehab and uh 
get it going. Get life going again. Hopefully I can play soccer. I know I keep looking at the wrong side of the phone for the camera, but it is what it is. You know guys, you know guys, you guys, you guys know what I'm trying to say. I love you, man. I wonder if they saw my wiener. I was naked, walking through there with my butt cheeks hanging out. It's very possible. Not much there to see, but you know, it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. So, I'm gonna have a bell, and when I, I want a drink or a beverage or, or food, I'm just gonna ding the and bell. Like, and your daughter's gonna get it for you, because I'll be My wife work. is gonna get it for me. She's gonna come, baby, do you need anything, right? gonna wait on me hand and foot. I gotta take advantage of these situations. What happens when I'm at work? When you're at work, then yeah, I make my daughter. Well, my daughter's at school. So I need like a French maid to come help me. Alright guys, I'm gonna turn off the camera because I don't even know if this is making much sense. But I am hungry. Can you give me water? Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed the episode. It was fun hanging out with friends, going on the bike ride and stuff. The surgery, not so much. But hey, I don't even remember it. I do hope you enjoyed the commentary though, because I was high as a kite. And like I said, I don't even remember picking up the camera and saying these things. But I guess it made for some decent content after all, so I guess my mind was in the right place. Again, guys, if you uh, if you like the content on the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on because I need all the support I can get. Please show me some love. I just got back from therapy. See, I, I actually edited half of this video while I was a little bloop bloop under the, on the, coming off the anesthesia. So I think I did a pretty good job. And with the with the, the talking on camera, not even remembering what I was saying. I mean, I literally don't remember picking up a camera, but I think I did a pretty good job. Comment below, do you think I did a good job? Or do you at least think it was entertaining? Because I, you know, after I watched it, I, I, was, I, I was actually pretty, I was actually laughing, you know, LMAO, laughing my ass off. Yeah, I was laughing my ass off. Good news, bad news. The surgery went well, everything's good, except for one little thing. The way my meniscus was torn, I was, they, they would have had to cut off too much cartilage and my knee, the bones would have hit. And like I say, I'm an athlete and I'm on canal banks all the time and I'm, I'm on a boat all the time. So I'm constantly balancing and changing my, my positioning and stuff like that. And if my knee is bone on bone, that's not good. So they actually had to stitch up some of the cartilage and we're hoping that it it heals and mends back together um, so that they don't have to cut off as much cartilage that they really need to for the piece that was torn. So I'm stuck on crutches for the next four to six weeks. Yay. Honestly, it was only supposed to be for like a week or so that I was going to be on crutches and I was going to be doing the physical therapy and stuff. But because of the stitches, they ha it has to take more time to try to heal. And I'm going to Scotland in six weeks. So fingers crossed that at least I'm mobile, mobile while I'm there. And the other bad thing about the anesthesia oh, is, and it's a side effect that some people get. I've had the worst hiccups since yesterday and to the point where you can even see in some of the footage how I'm cutting it a lot is because in the middle of me talking, I'm getting hiccups. I just took some Prilosec to see if it would help out, but I've got like hiccups and acid reflux and freaking insomnia last night. I've been up since literally four o'clock this morning. I was on Amazon looking at fishing gear. I was looking at cast king, like rods and reels and, and, and pliers and stuff because they got my favorite pliers. Big shout out to cast king because those, those things are like, they cut like butter. And uh, I actually even ordered a vacuum cleaner, a new vacuum cleaner for the house. So that's how much or how little sleep I got last night. And I'm still up right now editing 
and finishing up this video as uh, they're probably guys you guys are probably like oh bro just wrap it up let it be done but i can't let it be done until i just say one thing you know we all go through things in life i'm going through something in life right now that's stressful for me but it's not nearly as bad as what a lot of other people are going through and i always keep that in perspective you know no matter what i go through in life no matter what happens i don't worry about the future but I, because I know that when something does happen, I'm going to step up and I'm going to handle business. And I want everyone else to think like that too. You know, life throws wrenches at you and you just got to overcome. And every time you overcome and every time you, you get through something, it makes you a stronger, better person. So just remember that. And, uh, yeah, I just want you guys to uh, understand that it's time for you to become the CEO of your own life. And go catch everything outdoors. And always remember, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.